Domesticates come together, like flowers fucking on the wind. Human and wolf were once one and the same, they say. The fossils tell a different tale. The bones have their own story, one of six legs. It is the story of two legs and four more that prowl right beside them. Story from the dog's fang. A dog rises down from the mud. It comes to you with a bone in its mouth. You wipe the blood from its fur. It goes like this. Day in and day out, you've made a dog from a wolf, and all it took was the promise of a bird. Back when the night was ink, and the plain of humans rippled with howls. We were hairy and ate shit. Those people, leaning on their knuckles to solve their problems, came to rise up and meet the sun by morning. Up on swaying and bending with the sunshine like flowers, reaching for its beams. But in the night, there were too many that crawled on all fours. Back in that age, where one had hands and the other had teeth. So it came that humans and wolves made a pact. Catch the bird together, eat the bird together. The bird became the deer and the bull and the mastodon. Four legs with two legs right beside them. Eyes that can see the flesh and bones and a nose to smell. The bones left behind tell this tale. You can have the tooth and claw or club in hand, and both for a few ages. But then that age will pass, wilt, and shrivel like a posy. One stem, two feet, four paws. Even now the dog remembers its inner wolf. It knows its strength too well. But very soon, it will embrace it and sink its teeth into your throat. It pulls out the veins from your neck, and you can always wrap your fingers around its collar. That's the day when you'll both embrace what nature gave you. The bones will tell this tale as well. Ahead, when the night is over and the sun comes back, and your blood will make the flowers grow.